everybody. We're at the Springfield Livestock Market. On the way up, I stopped and got some grain and now it's raining. But we're at another horse sale. This is the same horse sale where we bought um, Jewel and Magnolia. And we got my best friend, <laughs> Joy Byers. You remember Joy, she's the manager of the Dickies Barbecue Restaurant in, uh, in Rolla. Rolla. So she's been on the channel before. She was on Oliver's first video. Yeah. We went and saw yeah. Oliver at the auction. Yeah, That's Oliver's true. first video mm -hmm. when we gave her a shout out. And she's just been swamped with business ever since. <laughs> she's got a grandbaby. And we're on a mission to find the right pony for the grandbaby. So I'm going to help her check them out and evaluate. And then I'm going to help her bid more. <laughs> so, and then, so you know, Emery want. always wants ponies too. Yeah. So. And she's looking for a gentle pony, Jared. Yes, a gentle pony. Yes. And then we'll see what else I like there too. Yeah. I brought a check. And we came up here because we saw that they had, there's a whole, yeah, there's like a, a handful of ponies that are going to be up here. Yep. So we're going to yep. go see if we can find them. There were not very many horses at this sale if you compare it to the last time we went here when we got Jewel and Magnolia. But there were quite a few ponies, which is exactly why we came. Do you want one like this size or, or smaller? I would like smaller, but yeah. I mean, as long as it's gentle. It's gentle, yeah. Wow, look at the mane on this guy. Is this a girl or a boy, Jerry? Girl. I was gonna say, it looks like a girl. Oh, sweet. Looks just like your horse, Em. Oh, yeah. Winnie? She's bigger, way bigger than Winnie, though. Wait, show the camera. Teach the camera. See how this neck folds over the ligament on the top? Yeah. Top line? Yeah. You don't want that on a pony. Why? That's a sign of, of like Cushing's or, or um, metabolic syndrome or basically. Founder, basically. I mean, if you want to take care of her, you can, but. So sweet. Oh, this is the one you were looking at, wasn't it? Yeah, is this that great quarter horse mare? Uh, no, she's not quarter horse. She's not? What is she? Um, I have papers. She's, oh, she's uh, registered? Yeah, she's registered. She's 11. She's been used at the stockyards. APHA, then? Or? Yeah, I think so. Uh, she's not my horse. I'm just riding her for somebody. She is ready. Is this with the one you showed yeah, me? Yeah, this is the one that I was looking at in the calendar because. I have a uh, Clydesdale stud, and I'm wanting to raise some crossbreeds. Oh, that'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah, she's beautiful. She looks nice and gentle, too. She is. She's good registered paint. This is one of the ones I wanted to watch um, go through the sale. Her name's Moon. What number is she? Uh, 20. 20. Okay, good. I like her legs. Good straight legs and everything. Sorry. I'm sorry. Has she ever, do you know if she's ever had a foal? Not that I know. Of. You're just riding her. Yeah, I'm just riding her. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. She doesn't know anything about her, Jer. Yeah. I just got told the basics about her. But other yeah. than that, she's super smart. Okay, okay thank you. Oh, look at the ponies. Oh my goodness. Sure, okay, oh, yeah. Me too, Jer. I need them too. Yeah. Which one, Joy? Which one? Joy gets the one against the fence over there. Why? She likes paint. I love oh. paint, but I like them. I would you be good with. I'd be good with any of them. What about this cute one? Like forty-six. Actually, yeah, it's pretty cute. Yeah, it is. Well, look at this forty-seven, teeny weeny. Yeah, go in there. See which one kicks you first. <laughs> we'll eliminate it. Oh, this one is cute. So short and fat. Oh, that it's one cute. is cute. I mean, she's pretty gentle. They said it said they were gentle. They had advertised these ponies as gentle and trained to pull and ride, which is exactly what Joy is wanting for her granddaughter. Yeah, I like this one. I get a good feeling from that one and this one so far. Check them out first. Oh, she is prettier once you get her out. She's thin though, very underweight. She might be old. Hey, sweetheart. I need some weight on you. She's got 
that. She's not old. She's not? No. Hey. Like nine. This girl seems super sweet and super gentle, but I think she's a little bit taller than what Joy was hoping for. Is this the one that you saw being drove? No. Oh, it's not? He's pretty though. He's gorgeous. Hey, buddy. This was a really beautiful gelding, and he seemed just as sweet as the mare before him. I bet that's his mama in there. I really thought this mare was cute. She was kind of my favorite. Hi. Hi, mare. Oh, she would be a perfect friend. How old is she? Oh, she's got some weird. Oh, yeah, look at that. What is that? She's got one, got it on both sides. I don't know. I don't know if the camera can see it. It's kind of like a tartar or black on the... You always gotta have a treat anyway. Huh. You should always have treats. <laughs> I think this was the smallest pony there and Joy was kind of obsessed with him. She really thought he was cute. This is the one that Joy likes. Joy, I believe this is a little bit small for I, what you it need. It really is, but it's so cute. It's only nine inches. I if, if he doesn't go crazy... He's 14, 15. He was super tiny uh, and Joy really liked him, but he had quite an attitude. He was pretty feisty, which wouldn't be great for her granddaughter, but she was thinking uh, that she might bid on him anyways if he went low enough. See, I think Bradley maybe needs this one. Aw, this is a cute one. Yeah. Hi, babe. If you look, it's got a little white See, it's got white spots on it. Yeah, when she sheds off, those would show up really good. Oh, she's so soft. Hi, she's sweet. This was a really sweet pony. She was super cute and pretty, but she just seemed really gentle and laid back. She also was really nicely built and put together. Do you like it at all? Yeah, I like it. So she has a, a two-year-old granddaddy. To lead it around, which would you, which would you pick just from what you know? This one and that one that he had out. Okay, that's what This I pony's think. a good quiet pony too. There was nothing wrong with this pony. She was super cute, but she didn't seem quite as mellow as the pony before. A little bit older. Closer to 15. Oh, she's really cute. This little pony mare was off by herself, not in the group that we had just looked at. And we actually had seen videos of her beforehand um, pulling a cart. And supposedly she's very gentle and rideable. How old is she? Hi, eight. Her, her uh, front right foot is pretty walk wonky. Points straight out. To that's, the, not bad. that's not bad at all. That's just the shoe or the trimming gel? Yeah. Yeah, she just needs. That's just a little bit of a paddle. It's. If I brought can you see a it's, horse? It's, like it's, No. I uh, can't see that. Looks fine. She's cute. She seems as friendly as that Palomino paint mare. Yeah. This would be a good one because it's broken, but like she even knows like back up, back, back. Like she's handles. She's handy. Like she's going to be a good one. And she has them rode? Yeah, them kids oh, rode her whole turn lead rope bareback and yeah, around the pasture. freaking precious. So granny's grandson and his girlfriend split up and took them little kids. Gotcha. This sweet girl was kind of the overall package and exactly what Joy was looking for, so she was definitely a top contender. But she also liked quite a few of the other ponies and they were really cute and nice too, so it was going to be a hard choice and it would probably come down to who came into the sale ring first. Hi. 
This will be Boston's Bright Moon. She is a 2012 model registered paint mare. By Mr. Boston Attraction. By Boston's Mach 1 Steel by Zappadoo. She's out of a daughter of Boston's Mach 1 Steel. Again, 2012 model paint papers are in hand. They call her Moon, been trail ridden lots and lots of miles all over the country, been used in the stockyards pushing cattle. She'll stand tied well, she loads good, got great ground manners, gonna stand 14-1. Jerry ended up passing on this mare. He wasn't quite sure about her. She was nice, uh, but he didn't really know her papers or anything like that, and she went a little bit higher than he was hoping for. This was the little black mare that we first looked at, and we didn't realize it when looking at her, but she actually was bred, uh, they said, to a little paint stallion, which would be really fun, but JR was a little concerned. She had a few issues, so Joy ended up passing on her. Hey, look here. Hip number nine is Rose, and she's a 10-year-old pony mare. She's been driven by a 77-year-old lady. Been ridden by children, traffic safe. She's been in parades and been on trail rides. Gonna go wherever you ask. A gentle pony, 10 years old, got a video. Joy decided this was the pony for her, and she was going to try to win the bid. Right there, JR just bid. So now Joy is in the lead at 850 and the auctioneer is going to try and get another bid for 875. Okay, so Joy already got a pony, but I think we should keep bidding on ponies too if they're cheap enough. Especially that little Palomino one, and Emery's trying to talk me out of it. But I have a number, so what do you think I should do? We got a pony dispersal. Fun sized equines, we got a little herd of them. 46 is a mare, 45 is a gelding. Been harnessed, been drove some, led the grandkids on them. This was the little pony that Joy really liked, and uh, even though uh, he didn't go for much, she ended up passing. She just wasn't quite sure if she wanted two ponies, uh, so she was just going to stick with the one she got. This pony was so cute, and I just loved her. I almost had JR bid on her, but we didn't have our daughter, Becca, with us, and she had made us promise that we wouldn't get a pony without her. So we ended up passing, and I have a little bit of regret because I still like her in this video, watching it back. Okay, it's the next day. Hi, babe. And uh, we still have her at our house. We're gonna take her to Joy and surprise her grandbaby tomorrow. But um, I just wanna evaluate her and make sure we did a good job. And I want her to be ready for Joy. So I'm gonna work on her hooves, get her hooves all straight. We might weigh her and worm her for Joy. And just for fun, I'd like to hook her to the cart and just see how good she is at it. How she behaves before she puts her little grandbaby on. Yeah. Everything's new today, but she's behaving pretty well right now. Let me find a hoof pick. Hoof's looking pretty good, really. Just 
trying to make this hook nice and round so it's splayed out on the edge. Just the outside that's grown out on this one. And a little bit of the toe. Leave quite a bit of hook wall on there because I want, instead of shoeing her, just leave it for cushion. Now we just round that edge so it doesn't chip. Like, you know, the where the two angles meet, you round it. And that way her hoof won't chip or splay out more. Not easy for a giant to work on a mini. Backs are in pretty good shape already. See how that's splayed out there? This is pushed out, growed out from the way she travels. We gotta get that in line and get that foot balanced and it'll quit doing that, hopefully. Awful. There's like glue right here. Ooh, we might have to cut the glue Sometimes out. these auction tags are really hard to get off, but this one wasn't that bad and came off really easy and clean. Hmm, can't can't even Okay, we're gonna get a good weight on her so that I can worm her for joy and know how much medicine to give her. <laughs> okay, what's your guess, Jar? Three, 17. I was over. She's pretty chubby. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Quite a bit over. Oh, Jules on there. Jules, Jewel. Jewel. come on. Well, that'll throw it all off. <laughs> Did she even hit three? I wonder, no. no. Really? I wonder how accurate Too this tiny. is. Though. 261. 260. Okay, we're gonna give her her medicine. I know this is awful. After JR uh, dewarmed her, he wanted to tack her up and lead her around, kind of see how she reacted to stuff. Because after all, uh, this oh, pony is so for cute. a two year old uh, granddaughter of Joy's, <laughs> and we want to make sure it's safe for her. She responded really well to direction and really for being in a, a new environment and just the stressful last couple of days she's had at the auction and stuff, she's staying really calm. JR's mom used to have a little pony named Buttercup. She was the grandkids' horse. All the kids uh, learned to ride on her. She was super sweet. She recently passed away, though, just from old age. Uh, but this was her cart and her little harness. And JR got it all out, and it ended up fitting this little pony perfectly. So he took her on a ride. He wanted to see how well-trained she was to the cart, and she really did excellent. Um, she was pretty good with it. Good girl. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Good girl. Ha, 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 ha. Walk, walk on. What a good girl. Good girl. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Leave us alone, Bob. Get up, little pony. Get up. Good little girl. Walk. Bob's got you scared, doesn't he? He's your big guy. Walk. She Walk. definitely knew what she was doing. Uh, and she's That's definitely been used to pull a cart, so mm. that was good to know. And whoa. Whoa, baby. Whoa. That was such a good girl. Even 
have a pony hat on today. Yeah. <laughs> so this little pony really ended up in a great home. She's got her little pasture and a little barn to get her out of the cold and rain and she will be well taken care of. And because this little pony already knew her name and it was established with her, they kept her name Rose. We hope you enjoyed this little video and if you did, if you can give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell.